Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of acute appendicitis. An 11 years old male patient came with severe right lower abdominal pain. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the curvilinear transducer view of the right iliac fossa. You usually don't see the acute appendicitis on curvilinear transducer. You should go for the linear transducer or high frequency ultrasound. But sometimes with curvilinear transducer, we can see the dilated appendix. You can see on right iliac fossa, this is the ilosoas muscle and this is the anterior wall muscles. And in between them, you can see an area of increased ecogenicity that is the fat stranding region. And centered to this area, you can see a tubular structure. This is nothing but the dilated appendix. So here's the picture we'll see now with linear transducer. Here's the linear transducer view with high frequency and you can see a tubular dilated structure at the right iliac fossa with surrounding ecogenic fat stranding. You can see some aniquic collection adjacent to this structure which indicates the periappendicial collection. This blind ended tubular structure is showing the presence of gut signature. You can see multiple layered wall which indicates the presence of gut signature. If it is lost then it should be gangrenous one. So this structure is blind ended and one end is connected to adjacent cecum. So this structure is nothing but the inflamed appendix or it should be called a case of acute appendicitis. Here's the picture. You can see the blind and distended non-compressible tubular structure. We have tried to compress it. It is connected to adjacent cecum. This is the surrounding fat stranding, which is due to the acute inflammatory process. Another picture, and you can see this appendix with surrounding fluid collection. And the picture with the measurement and you can see it is around 10 millimeter in diameter. On the right you can see the longitudinal section and on transverse section on the left you can see the typical target sign. Here is the ecogenic thick fat stranding areas and this anechoic area is nothing but the periappendicial collection. And the picture with the periappendicial anechoic fluid collection. When you see this periappendicial collection, you should be very careful. You see, the lumen contains fluid. If it was a perforated case, you may not get fluid here. And at that time, the diameter may get reduced to the normal level. So be careful when you get the history of appendicitis and you are getting a normal sized appendix, but surrounding fat is trending and fluid are present, you really should suspect appendicular perforation. We have videos of appendicular perforation in our YouTube channel, so don't forget to check them. So in summary, a blind ended distended non-compressible tubular structure of intestinal origin connected to adjacent cecum with presence of gut signature, surrounding fat stranding and mild perilational collection is noted at the right iliac fossa, indicating it as a case of acute appendicitis. Now the take home message. The loss of gut signature suggests gangrenous change. Whereas, localized collection adjacent to a gangrenous appendix may suggest perforation. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to follow us on other social platforms. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.